things have very specific spawn points. There we go. Granted, it's very possible I can't get those giant ones yet. I might as well just get the herbs out of the way. Listen here. I wonder what's for dinner today. Um. Hey, listen. Seeds? Yeah. Okay, I can't do anything with these quite yet until I get the garden, which I think I have to do a side quest in order to do that. Which I plan to do all of hey. them this time. All of them. Including that one with the uh, moonflower seeds, since I've never actually did that one. Oh, hello there. Hey! Oh, okay, so I give it to that dude. How are things? Okay, this is the... Okay, very well. Don't need these things yet. Some quests need them. For the most part, most of the materials are not used for hey anything there. except, like, quests and upgrading your weapons. Hey there! Oh, okay. He's just talking about battles and stuff. Hmm. Some lovely items today. Hello. What you got? I'm gonna use. Okay, nothing I can use right now. Damn. Expensive. Hello. Um. one of the exits of the village, but I can't go that way yet. Hello. Oh, there's the blacksmith. Okay, I was wondering about... Oop, nope. Did not mean to cancel out of that. Hello. Um, obviously, I can't afford any of these. Like that. That's a major upgrade and will probably carry me through most of the early parts of the game. I do like the how the villagers actually just have things to say to you, just when you walk by them, like um. stuff like that. Okay. Well, I might as well just go to where I need to go. Hmm. be worth noting now that there are multiple versions of this game um, in Japan probably everyone knows this by this point but in Japan there's two versions specifically uh, near gestalt and near um, yeah, okay. uh, near gestalt and near replicant the difference is gestalt has the older near that you're seeing here 
and Replicant has a younger teen, a very younger teen, uh, near, I forget how old he's supposed to be. But if you look him up, you can definitely notice the difference between the two. In terms of story, it's basically you're either playing as a father or Yona's brother. There's some character, slight character action differences and such in line dialogues and situational stuff, but for the most part, it's the exact same game. Not really that much different. Um, the American version only got Gestalt, which was a 360 exclusive in Japan, whereas the PS3 version had Replicant. Man, I got that button really fast. Like the last time I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> that. If you go right behind them, you. Damn. Oh, yeah, it's Shades. Shades doing so close to town. Just kill this Merle. Shades. Okay, you might notice that they're not leaving that shadowy area, the shades. Well, they're not leaving the shade. It's because they start burning up whenever they go out into the sun. The game honestly doesn't really mention this, though, although they mention day and night. I believe the sun's out, like, almost non-stop. Not just in the game, but in the game world as well. Not entirely sure why the game doesn't really mention that. I believe the side materials only mention that. Which is pretty much how humanity doesn't get overrun by shades when, you know, it gets dark out. Because it technically never really gets dark out. So most of the quests in this game, side quests in this game, are fetch quests like that. There's very few that are, are not. You tell that daughter of yo. Some gold. And yep, now I can buy stuff. From them. Hey. I already have two, and they're not very hard to come by, so I'll just buy one. Just keep the rest for myself. Um, I'm trying to think of... I actually don't need any of those maps right now, because I'm not going to those areas for quite a while, actually. I think. Is it eastern? Oh, east okay, that would be the southern one. So, the eastern one, yes, but the eastern area is really, really small, so I don't really need a map there right now. I don't want to waste 500 gold on that right now. Oh. Mm.
still talking about the lunar tear. Which I will be getting that too. I will probably have a separate video on that specifically. Because of how much of a pain in the ass it is to get that. Also, because I haven't gotten that before, so might as well just get the achievement for it while I'm at it. I don't believe these villagers really say much. Yeah, they don't really mention much, say anything else for until like actual significant things actually happen in the game. Hey. Some shades. <laughs> As you can see, it's overcast now. You can easily tell just by where the sun is. It's kind of a it's it's a nice touch, honestly. Oh, there's a dude over here. Hey there. How you doing? So, yep, still overcast. It's probably because plot-wise, it's supposed to be overcast right now, but it's usually pretty random depending on what point in the game you are. Or, oh, fuck out of these sheep. Get some wool while I'm at it. See it sometime later. Or mutton. I believe there's a quest that requires like a ton of mutton. And no, I'm not. As long as you don't go right directly behind them, you're good. I think this might be just a waste of time, considering how I can kill them way easier after a bit. I know there's a quest to get nine or ten mutton for someone. And they pay you a pretty good amount for it. And it's a, one of those weird, repeatable quests. Bridges this way. I think we should probably keep an eye out, because there's other materials that pop up around. Oh, yep, there they are. Oh, oh you can do the magic stuff. I don't think it really matters how charged that is. Oh, he dropped stuff. Dictionary, cool. I believe most of the stuff that shades drop is just... Yeah, most of the stuff that shades drop, I think, is just a uh, vendor trash. There are a few rare items that they drop that are needed for weapon upgrades. I think that dictionary is just vendor trash. I think. I don't think any of the. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing actually requires any of the book stuff to drop. Good. By the end of my first playthrough, I didn't sell any of that stuff because I didn't realize it was vendor trash and thought I would need it sooner or later. And I never did. Thank you. 
Hey! So. A uh, thick book full of big words. That I know is needed for something. But I'm not gonna sell that. I know the dented metal bat's needed for some weapon. There's one. Oh yeah, there there is an achievement for upgrading every single weapon to max. It's a pain in the ass. Especially since I kind of gave up trying to do that on my last playthrough when it came to Black Pearls. I'm sure anybody who's played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'll point those out of how you're supposed to get those later. <laughs> God, I'm not doing that. Oh! think about it. Maybe. <laughs> Just like with the Dragon Guard games, you do eventually need every single weapon for the final ending. Technically, C and D need all the weapons. I'll try to make good on trying to get... Well, I plan to do all the quest side quests, so that's not very difficult. Most of the weapons you just buy anyways. Hey, how are you today? Hello. I... Yes. By using the D-pad, you can switch weapons whenever you want. That's... Yeah. How's it going? Hmm. What should I make for lunch? You tell that daughter of yours to get better soon. Too shiny. Chicken egg, okay. Don't know if I need those for anything. To the library again.
<laughs> yeah. Damn it, Yona. I have to get to the Eastern Gate. Okay. Now for the actual plot to start happening. Ooh, shiny. Another chicken egg, okay. Dude, you could have asked the dude if he saw your girl walk right through here. Yeah. And why he didn't stop her. Yona. I can't believe she really went to the Lost Shrine. Change her weak to light. Oh, wait, I can't. Wait. What? Where is it? Animal, what? You know, I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, yeah, because I don't have the map, it doesn't show anything out there. Herbs. Some metals and stuff up here that I should be able to. Do. Dude, goats. Wait, dude, stop running! No, no. Back here. No, no, no. Gotcha. Go me. Okay, we're not going that way. The game won't even let me at this point. That leads to a completely different area. Same area where they mentioned uh, the wolves were at. We, yeah, the game won't let me go there yet. In fact, I don't think I can get there for quite a while. Shrooms. Right, let's try. Okay, that didn't take many hits. Goat meat. I vaguely remember a quest that needs a shitload of goat hides. I think ten of them. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get me with that. Also, each weapon I think has a different elemental thingy. Once again, I'm probably not gonna remember most of them. Yeah, I know you. Gathering for shiny spots and killing random animals like materials is really giving me Monster Hunter vibes right now. Oh, oh, okay, that was just the camera. Okay. Didn't realize the camera went static mode right there. That would be our first dungeon. Bye.
boxes for herbs and stuff. Yeah, that's where the rocks. Yeah, that's where the rock slide from before was at. So, just making sure I don't miss any boxes because I need more herbs later. 